Today we are taking a look at all of the cards that have a chart like this that are still on a current upwards trajectory. There's a lot of cards that are dipping down right now, but we're going to focus on the cards that are hot right now. Now, what I focused on when I pulled up all of these charts was the second, third, fourth, fifth kind of cards, excluding the chase cards, the you know the secondary cards from all of these sets. And we're going to just take a deep dive. And we're going to check out each single one, look at the charts, kind of give my thoughts, and we'll just dive straight into it. Obviously, starting with the Leafy on here from Evolving Skies. Now, on the three month, this is showing massive gains, and I. I like to see this strength here. Now, you would expect that with a chart like this that there is going to be a cool off. There might, there might not. It really depends. Um, you would think that there would be, but you know, you can you never know for certain. But if we pull up the last solds here, this is all TCG player. We're looking at 350, but there was 480. It's a little bit all over the place right now. So they're saying market value is $356, which is absolutely insane. If we pull this up on the one year, you can see, whew, right? But on the three month, you know, this is this is the, the stair climbing up that we're looking for on all these. And obviously, Evolving Skies is crazy. So um, it is interesting that that some of these cards are still doing this, right? So we'll look at the uh, the Glacion VMAX here. Uh, 151 three months ago, and we're in the 300. It's cracked 300, right? And it's it's still going. It's still rising. It hasn't dipped. It, it it's kind of plateaued, but it's still technically on the rise. Pull up the one year again. Same thing. Parabolic. So there's still a lot of strength. People are are moving off of the Umbreon. Some of these higher dollar cards. They're moving into the tier two, tier three, tier four, tier five cards, right? All right, same set, right? Evolving Skies. We got the Sylveon. Beautiful card, by the way. Check out this three-month chart. 130 up to the 270s. Still technically on the rise. It did have a tiny dip, but technically it is higher now. They got the market at 269. One-year chart, parabolic, absolutely crazy moves. So if you guys are looking to pick up any of these cards, personally, I would say for most of them that they would be expecting a dip. They're just following the patterns that... The other cards we're following, right? And that they will dip down here shortly. It's just kind of a matter of when. However, there is always exceptions, so use your best discretion. These could just keep ripping, but odds are that they are just lagging behind and they will have a dip um, and they will plateau at a lower a lower price point. Another Sylveon V from Evolving Skies. This is an, another adorable card. Very similar pattern. Had a little bit of a dip down here. It was at 54 91, 90, and now it's back up to just about 95 bucks. That's what they have the market price at. Take a look at the one year. It's had a little bit of turmoil and then boom, parabolic. So um, another another one, right? All right, next up, we got the Espeon VMAX from Fusion Strike. Now this one is on here and it, it did that same little dip up here at the top, but it technically has risen from 341 to 342. So that's why I included it on here. I just thought that this was interesting. It, this plateauing here, it could indicate strength and in that, that the market is valuing it at this price. And it could hold strong. It is very possible. We have seen it before. But we get down to the one year, same thing, right? 340, we're popping off. Now, this is a more interesting card that I wanted to touch on here. Now, this is the Shadow Rider Calyrex uh, VMAX. And this card doesn't get a lot of attention. This Pokemon doesn't get a lot of attention. But as you can see in this price, look at this from 49 to 109, 110 pretty much, and it is on the rise. You'll see here market price is at 110, but the listed median price 117. So, so once again, this is chilling rain. People are moving into some of those lesser cards, right? One year chart, it's just it just pops off, man. It was it was hovering around 50 for so long, and then it literally just over doubled in price. So absolutely insane. You just never know what's going to happen with these cards. All right, next up, we are still in Chilling Rain. And once again, very similar chart. You guys are going to notice a pattern here. 40 bucks, 39 right? And we're up to 75 This one has plateaued a little, um, once again. But it, it is holding, for a few weeks now, it is holding that price point. And market price, 75 listed 77 So it's going to stay about this price, um, unless there's like a massive buyout or something. One year chart, you see the same exact thing, right? So you never know which one of these cards could keep running. Um, I I think that all of these cards are great pickups long term. It really depends what you guys are wanting to do. Um, but 
for the most part, I would probably hold off a little bit. Like I said, I do think that these are going to regress. They're just a little bit behind. Then we have the Galarian Rapidash, which I think is a really underrated card, honestly. It's uh, it's a great looking card, especially in person. Uh, I do have this card. Uh, I'm not selling it or anything. I only have one copy currently, but and I picked it up um, even longer ago. You see this chart here? We're at 66. I think I picked it up somewhere around this dip. I got really lucky. I timed this dip. I think it was... Uh, I think it was actually a little less than this. It was actually on Mercari. It was like 30 bucks. Anyways, uh, really happy with that pickup. But we're at 66, a little bit of plateauing there. Um, but technically still on the rise from 64 to 66, 16. Uh, median price is at 68, so this could stagnate out or continue to rise, uh, depending. Then we have the Galarian Zapdos from Chilling Rain here. And this chart, I mean, if you were to get this... Yeah, 42 to, and this one is really on the climb still a little bit at 60 60. This card's interesting because the listed median price right here, $76. So, this you should expect this to continue to go up on TCG player. Pull up the one year here. Now, this chart's a little bit different on the one year because this this was at 53 um, and then it had a big dip down, you know, into the 40s. And yeah, it didn't really, it almost went below 40. So from 53 to currently at 60 is not that big of a gain on the one year. But it is, if you cut that off, you start around July, you know, then it's a little bit different of a story. So uh, this card had strength, a lot of strength at 53. Possibly it could regress back to its last one year high. You never know, but I, I see this running for a little bit longer uh, currently, so keep that in mind. Another uh, Calyrex is the Ice Rider VMAX from Chilling Rain. Now this chart isn't quite as aggressive. So the one's a little less, 38 to 57, but still pretty huge gains here. And the listed median price is $68. So once again, expect this card to be climbing uh, over the next few weeks still. And 43, it dipped down as low as 35 over the past year up to 57. So uh, the one year chart, not as strong, uh, lesser known Pokemon, but still pretty big uh, increase there. All right, now we got another uh, Pokemon I've been talking about in some of my other videos, Urshifu. Um, we got the chart here, 48, you know, up into 75. And while this technically is on a tiny retrace right here, it has hold, held very steady, similar to some of those other ones. Listed median price is at 87, so I might expect a tiny dip and then a little bit more of an uptick on this on this card, so keep that in mind. One year chart's a little different as well. Um, back here we're at 65, 65, you know, so not really very big percentage gain compared to some of the other cards. And so this could regress, if this regresses to this last one year high, you know, you're at 65, so that's a $10 drop, so that is possible if this card starts to regress so keep that in mind as well um, next up we got another Urshifu now this one has a little bit bigger of a gain I believe 30 to 53 dollars so that and that's the market price that's the listed median price so I expect this to start stagnating off and then possibly dropping so this card might have hit its peak but you look at the one year and it is up from its one year high so that is good growth right there. I mean, it really dipped down from 41 to, yeah, 20, 27 about. So it's had its dip and we're on another stair step up. It, it's pretty common. It happens all the time with cards of stocks. You see it, the stair stepping effect. Um, it look, it's still good, good growth for us to see. All right. We got another Urshifu. I know this one's a little cheaper. I know guys, I know love it or hate it. You, you know, it is what it is from 12 to 1765 well that doesn't seem like the most it's actually decent percentage gain uh listed median price is at 20 so this could tick up to 20 it could stagnate there it could keep going it's it's tough to tell with these these lower cards we could see a massive buyout of these lower cards and it could just send them up into the 40 dollar range you never know i'm not saying that that's going to happen but just keep that in mind that it does happen from time to time um so yeah there's not too many listings looks like 35 listings on here so if there's not a lot of cards, this can be bought out and manipulated here. Um, so yeah, when your chart's a little different, but still we're still on the up technically. So I like seeing the the uh, climb of these cards. I think they're underappreciated personally. 
All right, now we finally got some Scarlet and Violet cards with this chart. It took me a while. There wasn't many that had this. Uh, also, if you know, I, I'm a big supporter of Scarlet and Violet base. I I like the set. I like the artwork. I like this card. I think it's still undervalued. Uh, but 15 to 23, not the biggest dollar amount, but percentage-wise, not a bad gain. And the listed median price is above market at 27, so we could we could see this continue to run. If we look at the one year, though, this is what's very interesting. One year we had this at 25, so we are below the one year. So I expect this definitely to continue and surpass the one year. I think with a lot of the Scarlet and Violet stuff, um, this might just be the beginning of a, of a bigger run. And if you're looking for a more percentage gain, I think these cards are really undervalued, underappreciated. They're a little bit easier to pull than some of the newer Scarlet and Violet stuff, so keep that in mind. But long term, I don't think anywhere in here you'll be uh, kicking yourself for picking them up. Now the nine tails. Now this chart's a little bit different. It's not as it's a little bit more up and down. And but three months ago, six twenty four up to eight seventy three, decent percentage gain there. We pull out the one year though, because this this did launch at twenty one dollars. I don't expect this to be hitting twenty one anytime soon. If it does, but if it were to crack the ten dollar range, I could see that happening. A lot of hype around this card. Uh, if you've well, maybe not a lot, but you've seen people talking about it, right? And it's a great looking card, and rightfully so. So um, expect this to make another move up, possibly. It could come down before it comes up, you know. I, I'm not saying that I always know what's going to happen or anything like that, but this is a card worth investing in, in my opinion. So um, I do agree with that. Uh, the Alakazam, now this chart is a little different, but I wanted to get one from 151 that kind of had more of an up, and I know it is on a down as of late, right? But it was at 28 up to... 33 and the listed medians at 34 so uh it 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 probably is going to stagnate out right here but i just wanted to throw it in here as one last little bonus of a card that uh, that was moving and on the one year right this debuted at 45 and it went as low as 26 but now we're in the 30s so i could see this continue to rise i do think that this this card should be higher value maybe in the 40s i'd like to see it at um, just personally. So I, I think the artwork is too good and I think the Pokemon is too good personally. So that is going to do it for this one, guys. I just wanted to come out there with like, we, we've been touching on chase cards. We've been touching on, uh, 151 Japanese boxes. We, I wanted to touch on two, three, four, five tier cards, right? And cards that are still showing growth because a lot of people, like I said, are, they're talking about, how a lot of stuff is on its down, which it's true. Um, and you know, that's part, like I said, part of the stair-stepping effect, but just wanted to focus on some cards that are more on the current up and just talk about a little positivity, right? For some of these, for some of these cards. So keep that in mind. That's all I got for you guys. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Um, yeah, catch you guys in the next one. Remember it was never a phase.